Well, a doozy yesterday as a strong line of thunderstorms came through, followed by a few spotty, even intense storms behind it. But boy, they did pack a punch. 65 mile an hour winds, those were the highest number that I saw that was down in uh, Gross Point. Uh, areas in and around the airport, 61 miles an hour. A lot of people said 55 miles an hour, and it was really the wind that was the big highlight. Sure, there was a little bit of hail with this as well. Some people reported it, but I think many people would say that strong blast of wind right off the bat. It was like 6.30, 7 p.m. is when we saw it. And it, uh, yeah, it caused quite a bit of damage. A lot of trees down, a lot of power outages, a lot of damage. Thankfully, today, I do not see that happening. Now, downtown right now, it is quite wet. In fact, it's downtown and in Windsor. Our friends in Ontario are dealing with some of the heavier pockets of rain right now. This is all still lingering about. In fact, I think we're entering about a two-hour window where it's going to be consistently raining. So if you haven't left the house and you are going to in the next 45 minutes, just know you're going to be doing a lot of running around today in the rain. Severe risks today are not that high. Uh, you can see the only thing really could be maybe a gust of wind up to 30 miles an hour if a thunderstorm does develop, which we're not 100% sure a thunderstorm will develop today. This is an outside shot, so we're going to call it isolated. But for the most part, it looks like it's going to be some passing showers through the day today. Showery wet out there uh, Monday. Tuesday looks to be a little bit less so, but still a few rain showers in the forecast. Drier Wednesday and Thursday. These temperatures are going to start climbing right back up by the middle of the week, back into the 80s, and potentially even a little muggy as we move into the weekend. Saturday could be another round of storms. So where are we? Because I know prior to this, we talked about a drought and yep. we were behind on the, the expected total for this time of year. So we're, we're back up there. Okay. Uh, so I think we're two tenths of an inch in deficit, which is not all that bad. I mean, technically a deficit still, but I think we're pretty normal with our water numbers, which is always a good thing to happen. Yeah. You just don't want it all to happen at once. <laughs> you know, a steady rain is always better than a downpour. And yesterday we had a lot of downpours. The maps yesterday, the updates from our Fox weather app, phenomenal by the way but when you look at that map and all the red and orange I mean you knew it was going to be serious yeah uh, driving back to the neighborhood large tree branches down I mean that was really something yesterday the shelf cloud that was associated with the storm yesterday yeah. those are always very ominous looking because yeah. they're big they're noticeable and they kind of morph a little bit as they move and so uh, those are scary things to see we saw one yesterday and that's what really kind of brought that 60 mile an hour gust wow